Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Pharma Talk with Doronal, the platform where we discuss everything pharmacy. It's the second wave of the COVID-19. Please remember to follow the protocols, put on your face mask and try as much as possible to wash your hands as many times as possible. Also, boost your immune system with fruits, vegetables and vitamin C. Having said that, today's episode of Pharma Talk, we're going to be looking at why your anti-malaria may not be working effectively so lots of persons procure anti-malaria and they take it the next week they are back saying ah, i still get malaria it'd be like say that malaria medicine no they work i've been i even fake said now nah, bye we hear lots of complaints in the pharmacy but the question is how best do you take your anti-malaria how do you take it and what is the duration of therapy these two questions will help us look at how best to take your anti-malaria. Even though we cannot completely rule out the existence of illicit drug markets in the country, we always encourage people to look out for scratch cards that are, are fixed on most of our anti-malaria medications. Scratch and then text the code just for you to be sure of the quality of the anti-malaria you are. Taking. That being said, how do you take your anti-malaria? Anti-malarias are best taken with food. Remember I dropped my last video on Ampiclon saying it is best taken on an empty stomach. As against and, um, Ampiclon, anti-malaria are best taken with a fatty meal. Emphasis on fatty meal. They help the anti-malarias to work well better. Secondly, Anti-malarias are not to be taken alongside with vitamin C. I see lots of people come to the pharmacy with um, prescription for anti-malaria alongside vitamin C. And then we get to start telling you, this should be done after your malaria therapy. And lots of persons look at you and be like, what is she saying? Anti-malarias are not to be taken with vitamin C, with fruit juices, or vegetables, oranges or any antioxidant containing vitamin. That being said, what is the duration of your therapy? Anti-malarias are best taken in a complete course. So if your anti-malaria is to be taken for three days, ensure that you take your anti-malaria for three days. If it is to be taken for two days, ensure you take it for two days. I've seen lots of persons get better and then they discard the remaining tablets of the anti malaria you buy your anti-malaria you do not follow the right timing for ACTs we have an eight hours interval for the first dose and then 12 hours interval for subsequent doses not everyone comply with that resistance will develop when you do not complete your anti-malaria therapy or you do not follow the dosing interval of your anti-malaria this exposes the organism to lower doses of the medication, therefore giving them room to form resistance, which could make that anti-malaria that used to be effective in doing what? Eliminating your malaria become less effective as a result of what? That parasite forming resistance to the drug. I want to believe that this information was helpful. Remember to subscribe to this channel. It's Pharma Talk with Dorono on YouTube and Pharma Talk underscore NG on Instagram. Do take care of yourself and see you.